Hey everyone, Jim Branscombe here for the Cinematic Void Vlog. Today, I'm doing a little behind the scenes of what it's like on a screening day for Cinematic Void. We are here at the beautiful Los Feliz 3 in the main auditorium for the American Cinematheque. And yeah, I'm just gonna kinda go through what all happens from for the doors opening to me going on stage to introduce the film and then the film going on screen. So the most important thing for Cinematic Void is obviously the movie. Tonight we are showing Night of the Living Dead on glorious 35mm and threading up the back is American Cinematheque Chief Projectionist Ben Tucker. Ben, how you doing? Good, Jim. Hey, everybody. So, Ben, why don't you tell us what you're doing right now? Well, I've tested the print and it uh, looks good on screen, sounds good. I'm just threading up the first reel right now, getting it ready to go. So. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Just up for the showtime. Right here is Mike Cuenca. He is theater coordinator here at the Los Feliz 3. He's also an excellent filmmaker. He made the films I'll Be Around, like a dirty French novel, and he's working on something else new that he's somehow convinced me to be in. So, Mike, what do you do during a cinematic TV show? Sometimes I film the intros. Uh, sometimes I just make sure shit runs on time. That sort of thing. Yeah, very yeah. important stuff. So, you know. You basically keep the chaos organized. The chaos organized, yeah, exactly. All right, right here is Michael Felix. Mike, what's your official position for Sid Mac Boy? Uh, I do a lot of things, but uh, my official uh, most regular position is uh, selling merch yeah. at the screenings, which I lay out uh, VFW Hall uh, hardcore show style. I just put them up on the stage, um, you know, deal with the, uh, you know, the stock and uh, sell them to the kids. So what's your sales approach? What is your sales pitch to make people buy this merch? Uh, I just shout merch from the stage and I try to be visible in something that uh, stands out against the darkness. So uh, people see me when they walk in our uh, theater here. Makes sense. Thank you, Michael. Merch! Tonight, part of the screening, we are giving away this beautiful Night of Living Dead print that has been beautifully framed by our friends at Frame Monster Design Lab. They've given us several posters over the years to give away as prizes, and they do impeccable work. Is it rolling? It is rolling. Oh, hi. Um, I'm just looking over uh, various uh, notes for uh, teaching our, our lovely uh, zombies what to do. We're going to be uh, looking at uh, desire, weaknesses, self-revelation, maybe some new equilibrium if we get there. We'll see how many people are going up for this poster. We really don't know. Um, should be really dumb and good. So you want to talk about our process in coming up with these bits? Uh, yeah, Jim uh, proposes a really fun concept, and I say yes, and then the day of, we're like, oh, fuck, we're, we're doing this, right? And then, um, and then we, we and it's showtime, baby, and then we just yeah. We, uh, a lot of, fly by the seat of our pants riding, and uh, we're just so in tandem uh, with what we think uh, is acceptable. So, I, out. I think that's the best way to do it is just not prepare. Pretend that we prepared. We're, Give the aura of that we've really prepared and put in hours of work, and just not that we're in the back here, fuck, what are we gonna do in the next five minutes? We're really good at it. We've mastered this. <laughs> no one else is perfectly uh, professionally inept at this. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for um, this. Thank you for wasting your Mondays on a reoccurring monthly basis. <laughs> I appreciate it. Which is why we always go and drink after the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I'm glad you hate yourself as much as we do. Mm -hmm. so, thank you so much. Thanks. Always good to meet a family. <laughs> also, to be sure, I'm saying that we all hate ourselves, not that we hate. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. How's everyone doing tonight? You are about to watch one of the 
most important horror movies ever made. You can do a little better than that. How's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> much, much better. Welcome to Cinematic Boy. I'm your host, Jim Branscombe, and tonight we are in week three of our 60s Chakra series as we screen George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead in glorious 35 millimeters. There we go. Last week, when we did Hour of the Wolf and we got the Criterion Channel crowd, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so we actually have a special guest tonight because when George was making Night of the Living Dead and most of the zombie movies, he just let the zombies do whatever they want. However, being in a zombie movie is now a big commodity. And they've actually hired zombie acting trade coaches. It's a big, big market, and we have the top one here tonight. So give it up for Richard Picklebottom, zombie method actor trainer. Now Richard, can you talk about some of your clients? Yes, so, first off, very excited. Helen Slater and I once did a, a little ditty called True West. Have you heard of that? We decided a brother-sister duel was a little more progressive. So, oh, goodness me. I'm a little, a little nervous just being up here. And all of you are so attractive in Los Angeles. I got a juicy role for you. You're Tom Cruise and Eyes Wide Shut as a zombie. Action. <laughs> so you're gonna do Nicole Kidman doing that AMC Woo! ad. Yeah. I don't know if this is better or worse, but action. <laughs> Rudy Ray Moore. Yeah! As Disco Godfather, as a zombie. Put your weight on it. Remember, I'm always away. Ooh, all right, action, he's going. a zombie act-off. <laughs> so basically, occasionally zombies will fight each other. So Tom Cruise versus Rudy Ray Moore, battle to the undeath. You're gonna, I'm gonna count to three, act your asses off for 15 seconds, and then we're gonna crown a winner. All right, one, two, three. So after what seems to be hours 
we're going to start Night Living Dead. Thank you guys for coming. I'll see some of you guys next week in Spider-Man. And thank you for the support. Enjoy. 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 Night Living Dead and Glory at 35 millimeters. changeover so I was um, keeping an eye in the upper right corner of the image and looking for the motor start cues so I started the motor of projector number two and I saw those motor start cues and then about eight seconds later I saw the changeover cues so I changed the picture and the sound from projector number one over to projector number two and hopefully it looked pretty seamless to the audience. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you in the void.